This is Anthony Galliano for B2B Cambodia with your market update for May 9th. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index rose for the second straight day today, up 1.8 points, 413.74. Volume was moderate at 388,187 shares trading hands at a value of 541,000. The Clayta Bank was the most active stock of the day, rising 120 Khmer real per share, or 1.6% to 7,680 Khmer real per share. Siena Bill Autonomous Port was among today's other winners, gaining 160 real per share, or 1.3%, to 12,450 Khmer real per share on very light volume. Only 129 shares were traded. On the downside, Nam Pen Special Economic Zone lost 20 Khmer real per share to 2,020 Khmer real per share. In corporate news, Grand Swins International notified investors and the public that there will be a delay in releasing their first quarter report to the Securities and Exchange Regulator due to public holidays, primarily Khmer New Year. The report was due May 15th and will now be released May 27th. The stock was down slightly on the news, down 0.43% on very light volume. Telcotech LTD, an issue of two traded bonds, an issue of 800,000 in size with a coupon of 4.5% maturing August 2026 and an issue size of 820,800 maturing December 228. Reported revenues of 22.1 million in 2023 down from 21.9 million in 222. Net profit was down substantially to 491,000 from a prior year profit of 2 million. We will break down Telco Tech's financials in a future segment. The U.S. dollar to Khmer real remains weak at 4,076 real per U.S. dollar on a slightly higher U.S. dollar index of 105.70, as the Federal Reserve in the U.S. holds rates steady with no change. Brent crude oil was on the rise today, U.S. dollar 84.23 a barrel, given a drop in U.S. inventories. Gold is trading at U.S. dollars 2,319.60 an ounce, down U.S. dollar 270. Dow futures are pointing to a softer U.S. Open, down 73 points, given that U.S. Treasury yields are on the move higher. This has been Anthony Galliano for B2B Cambodia with your market update for May 9th.